Hello and welcome to Lenovo Unboxed. This is Gavin, as always, with my good friend. Kevin. Kevin? I've, I've forgotten, actually. <laughs> Kevin, I'm, I'm troubled today. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have any opening theme music for our unboxing videos, and it concerns me, so... Uh, we should get some. We should maybe, we'll outsource that to our fans, and we'll look for a future yeah. contest coming. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get right to it today. We've got a brand new generation of our mm -hmm. yoga franchise. Yep. Uh, we're going to unbox Yoga 11S. Um, we've got uh, two different colors, and we're going to, mm -hmm. uh, this is a mystery color. Let's just see what's in the box. <laughs> All right. Um, we're proud to have a box today. Yes. Not always a given. Not always the case. Today, special. Yeah, yeah. So get it rolling, Kevin. All and, right. Uh, let's uh, maybe acclimate people and remind them what the heck yoga is. Um, for people in many countries, Lenovo used to be known as the guys who made ThinkPads. Um, and I feel like last October, when we rolled out the first yoga, that was kind of a turning point, and people started to know us for, uh, for more than just ThinkPads. Um, yep. And, and the, this, uh, uh, this beauty here is a big reason why. Agreed. So, as you said before, last year what everyone would have seen would have been the Yoga 13, 13-inch, 13 sure. creatively named, uh, and the Yoga 11. So the key difference here is that the Yoga 11 was actually a Windows RT, an ARM processor, Windows RT based product. Okay. Uh, with all the lower powered, that's And thing. limitations on what uh, programs could be run, what applications could be run. But 11S, as it says here on the box, uh, full Intel processor up to Core i7, full Windows 8 application compatibility, blah, blah, blah. Okay. But in a small, it's the 11.6-inch uh, display Correct. there, right? So we're looking at something smaller. Mm -hmm. I just want to point out, man, yeah. in the olden times, we did not have packaging this beautiful. We got mm -hmm. a little smudge on it here, yeah. but um, love the box. Very artful mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, maybe a metaphor for, like, the attention that goes into the design yep. of these things, you know? So here's the... Uh the system itself just right. for the sake of this being an actual unboxing we'll show sure. here's your uh, here's your power cord there's and your, your uh, user guide as, or as we call it your ship group do, what percentage of the people do you think really use the user guide and what percentage boot it up and try to figure it out themselves I, all I can say is what I do all right yeah I think <laughs> I, I don't have to ask <laughs> All right, so it comes in a, a handy dandy sleeve here looks like we have a gray one all right silver do you say silver silver or these? yeah it's a it's royal Grayish, silver. So I'm royal. sure we have a good marketing name for it. Yep. We'll look on the website to see. Yep. And as we open it up here, magical silver. Little uh, screen connect or screen protector here. Uh, and as you open it up, it's actually got a little sticker here. I don't know if we can see this. A little sticker that actually shows you where the power button is. Which is great. We've heard. I know on Twitter, I've had a few people who just got their new yoga yeah. and said, "Hey, excuse me, where's the power button?" So it's kind of subtly placed in the front panel. Right. There, but. Right? purposefully placed there so that when you are using it in all the different modes, say you use it, and we'll get to the modes in a minute, say you're using it in tablet mode and goes to sleep and you want to wake it back up, you don't want the uh, the button on the bottom right. side you don't or want the it top side. Inaccessible. You want it on the edge. Right. Exactly. I got you. All right. All so right. show us around this thing a little bit. You mentioned the yep. modes and we'll get to, the, to yep. the, the different ways you can use yoga, the things that make it kind of the yep. dynamic um, wonder that it is. But let's start with yep. the uh, basics. The uh, standard around the horn on the ports here, we've got uh, power, SD card, USB 2.0, speaker, rotation lock, and then as we go around the front here, aforementioned power button mm -hmm. uh, and the Lenovo recovery button as well if you ever need to re reload the OS or recover your God. volume up or God down forbid. second speaker HDMI USB 3.0 and uh, headphones okay All right so not again to sort of belabor the whole thing but I think one of the biggest um, draws for someone who's potentially looking at buying one of these is the for lack of a better term, convergence, so that you don't have to carry two devices. Okay. Right at three, slightly over three pounds, about three point one pounds, you've got a fully featured tablet and you've got a laptop. So you're no longer having to carry around a three and a half pound laptop and a pound and a half tablet. Yeah, right? just for those of us who carry both of those in a yeah. backpack, I know that's yep. a, that's a major draw when you're right. traveling a lot or something. And then you've got you know the full set of ports that come along with this actually being a full fledged ultrabook. All right. Right, which you don't find so, in many tablets. So again. At first mm. glance, when yep. we when you when you pull this mm. thing out, it yep. is a conventional laptop. Right. And then you start to notice the hinges. Tell us a little bit about the hinges again okay. uh, for people who may have missed it the first go round. These okay. are uh, Lenovo patented hinges, right? Right. I mean, that's really what makes the yoga the yoga. Is uh, it's difficult to visualize, but just thinking in very rough terms, there's actually a double set of uh, uh, of round cams inside this hinge. So. Um, if we can capture this on camera, what happens is when I go back to 180 degrees, only the top section of the hinge 
is unlocked. And then once I pass 180 degrees, the flat part of the cam on the top interacts with the flat part of the cam on the bottom and it unlocks the bottom part of the hinge, which lets me start to pull it all the way around into tablet mode. All right, so this is awesome to me, not only yep. because then it's a tablet. And, mm -hmm. and again, I remember we yep. walked around New York City the day that yoga was announced right, to the world right. and we blew people's minds yep. from Times Square down to Washington Square Park. Yep. But um, what I love, Kevin, is the, the part about the keyboard. And I want to make sure we mention yep. this because a, a common question people have is mm -hmm. as you're flipping it around from laptop to tablet, yep. what about the keyboard? And so yep. I know that, uh, for number one, the keyboard is slightly recessed, right? Correct. So when it's laying down flat, no keys are being pressed. Okay. And then also when it goes past 180 degrees, the keyboard turns off. Magic happens. The right. keyboard so, is disabled and you're officially in tablet. So when you're holding mode, this and using it in tablet mode, even though my hand may be resting on a key, I'm not typing anything. Okay. Right? So. Yeah. That's also a scratch resistant coating on the keyboard yep. I know. So we've got you covered. Never never fear when you flip around to tablet mode that you're doing anything wonky or weird to your keyboard. Nope. Um, that was the probably the number one question that people had yep. when we first introduced yoga. Like, you guys have lost your minds, you're mad. No, we you know? that was probably one of the first things they thought of actually. Yep. Yep. Um so on to the modes. Okay, yeah. Right. So I think laptop mode is pretty self explanatory. I think most of you are tech savvy enough to know right. what a laptop is right by now. Tablet mode also pretty self explanatory. Um and you know from the, the studies I've seen, that's probably about 50, 60 percent of the total usage time of yogas in okay. the market is between laptop and uh, tablet mode. Sure. However, we've got another couple of modes that are uh, pretty right. cool, right? We've got what we call stand mode, right? The most obvious applicability to this is watching movies on an airplane. Absolutely, right. man. We've, a, all, we've all been so, there. Yeah, the the guy in front of you is getting back, ready for right? a big nap. There's <laughs> yeah. 12 hours left in yeah. your flight, and the guy's reclining right into your face. So. Right. So if you know if the edge of the tray table is here, the seat coming down here is much preferable to having the seat coming down crunch. Yeah. Right. Yep. And it happens every time, man. The longer the flight, the more mm -hmm. sure you can be the guy in front of you really needs a nap. Right. I've always uh, found. You know, and then there's some other uh, use cases for this, like uh, video chatting using mm -hmm. Skype or any other yep. video chat application. You've got the screen a little closer to you. You know, yep. you can adjust it very easily. We actually had one of these. We had a, uh, mm -hmm. the original uh, yoga at mm -hmm. our house for a little yep. while, and my wife and I actually used it mm -hmm. for cooking. So we yep. had, um, you know, we put it in a non-greasy spot, mm -hmm. not quite close yep. to the stove, but where you're chopping or whatever. And it's a, a pretty nifty uh, way to cook if you've got your recipe pulled up on your favorite, uh, you know, recipe site or whatever. Right. So, right. and now this is tent mode, right? right? So named for obvious reasons. I'll give you the uh, the clear profile of mm -hmm. it. Um, Tent mode, Kevin. Really, some similar uses to uh, to mm -hmm. stand mode, right? Yep. So you're um, if you're skyping with somebody, it's a really nice thing to do. Well, actually, the camera's at the bottom here. Oh so my god, my you'll bad. So you use, use Skype here, yeah. Right. Stand mode is okay. what you want to use for video chatting. Watching a movie, then number one. Watching a movie right and on. your earlier thing about uh, cooking, yeah. Right for recipes and yep. things like that. Uh, this sort of gets the the guts of the computer or the body of the computer up off the counter. Off the counter, sure. Right? Okay. So you can stand it here, uh, change the angle, do whatever you need to do, yeah. uh, and then reach over and just flick the screen to go through your recipe, do whatever. Uh, but also, you know, uh, uh, long story short, uh, this mode is a media consumption mode, mm -hmm. right? As opposed to laptop, where sure. you're actually doing some something so creative. In laptop mode, yeah. you're you're creating, mm -hmm. and you're most likely working, or at yep. the very least, you know, emailing and that right. sort of thing. Flip around to a tablet or any of these, and you're much more geared towards playtime, right. uh, watching a movie, having fun, just yep. maybe browsing, browsing the web, or looking at your apps from the Windows Store, that sort of thing, yep. right? All right. Um, you want to grab our other one? Yeah. So okay. we've got we secretly unboxed another one, <laughs> um, and here I'll grab it and let's take a look. Yep. Uh, let's boot this baby up. You want to swap with me? All right. And we'll get the silver out of here. Let's get a quick shot of both. Want to flip yeah. it around, and you'll need to bring it back to life there. So yeah, here's the, the two colors available, clementine orange uh, and the silver that we were showing you. And again, these are the same colors we had in the first generation, mm -hmm. very popular with people. Right. Worth noting that the clementine orange is maybe not available in all countries, right. Um, right. so check with your local, uh, your local suppliers. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will say this for the orange color, mm -hmm. we thought it was a girl color when we launched yoga, and I've seen a lot of men choose that over the silver, <laughs> so I think we've got two, two fairly uh, you know, uh, good options for you. Okay. Uh, we just wanted to bring this out to show the uh, color ports and everything, obviously the same. Um, just briefly on specs, like I said, up to i7, up to 256 gigs of uh, storage, up to 8 gigs of RAM, right? So fully configurable as essentially a high-end Ultrabook with all the other cool modes. So we've got... Kevin, uh, is it worth noting that, I mean, a few years ago, mm -hmm. people were buying netbooks like crazy, right? Yeah. And so this is another comparison about now versus mm -hmm. yesterday. Right. Um, 
the netbook craze was cool while it lasted, but yep. at some point people found, I think, that the the devices were too limited. They were they were right. small form factor, and that was mm -hmm. useful. But this again, we're talking about an 11 inch form factor right. with all the power you need. Uh, you know, up to Core i7, right. really the, the the best speed and power you can get. Right. Yeah. So the specs in that respect do not vary significantly from the 13. It's really more about offering choice. Right. Mm -hmm. Is your desired form factor a 13 inch laptop and a 13 inch tablet or an 11 inch? Right shave a bit of weight off this. Like I said, this is 3.1 pounds. To me, this is the ideal form factor to carry around for a total, you know, weight load, three pounds, tablet, notebook, kind of everything all in one. Agreed. Agreed. Yep. Anything else to cover today? No, I think that's a pretty right. exhaustive overview uh, of the uh, Yoga 11S. 11S. And Kevin, yeah. what does the S stand for? Uh, it's a secret. I, S for secret. Or and your 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 <laughs> ideas are welcome. We have no idea. Yeah. Um, but ask yourself one question: Do you need two devices, or mm -hmm. can you do it in one? And this makes a pretty compelling uh, case, I think, for uh, you know using one device where where two used to yep. be required. Well, that's why we designed it that way. Right on. That's yep. Yoga 11s. Thanks for being with us. Thank you.